Hello and welcome to another uh, pub review. So, uh, yesterday was the Raggy Stag Do. Uh, it was a good day on the whole, uh, apart from me getting drunk too much. Uh, eat food. Hydrate. So I keep telling myself I never listen. So yesterday, the first port of call of the day was the Barley Twist. Uh, I looked at the Vat and Fiddle and because of the Notts County game, it was rammed. And I didn't, uh, I quite, uh, I didn't want to go in when it was rammed. I thought, nah, I'll just go up the road for five minutes. So I went over to the Barley Twist, looked over, no, literally no one in there. I thought, that would be me. So not good for the pub, but good for me. So I walked into the Barley, barley Twist and without me having to explain too much, this will be will be available separate from this video because I like to throw. Uh, there we go. So there you go. That's inside. As you can see, the bar area, lots of craft beer fridges, uh, the TV for the railway, and and uh, yeah, it's gone off on it. <laughs> and there we go. Now I think I'm going up to the door now. Actually, I didn't want to focus because there's a couple there, and I'm a bit concerned that. I, so yeah, you see that. Um, got to the bar, got a good mate. It's a, it's a, it's like a, it's, it's a bar the same size as the raggy bar here. It's literally not much bigger. Uh, they've got a can wall up the top, which is stunning. Um, loads of keg, obviously loads of um, whiskies and spirits and stuff. The toilets are at the back. We've got a downstairs area as well um, that they use for events. And seating, so that's great as well. If you don't, you know, if you want to sit downstairs, the 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 unless it's busy, the the you know, it's blocked off, which for obvious reasons, you don't need to have it all open if it's only a few people in. Um, but um, got to the bar straight away, two brand new beers on the bar, and I'm like, yes, sir. Black Iris and uh, Castle Rock Brewery collab. Uh, mild Stalins, tasting absolutely spot on, review coming. And the Osset Brewery um, beer as well, I can't remember the name of it now. Osset Brewery and Castle Rock collab. And uh, both were tasting spot on. It's a Castle Rock Brewery cup, uh, pub rather. It's only up the road from from the brewery. So as you, you know, their beer is going to be spot on in their own pub. And it was, it was, it was, it was great. Uh, had the two beers there. Um, the staff behind the bar were really helpful. Really, you know, nice people. Um, but uh, yeah, always a good place to go for. Um, not that I can get down on Thursdays. It's literally impossible for me. But they do have. They they, they did have. It's stopped recent. I've not heard anything recently. But Facebook's awful these days. You, you I, all I get is football on my Facebook. I don't see anything from pubs and breweries, which I actually I'm into. But they, they they usually have a pilot project. Now the pilot project, there's a lad that works there at the Barley Twist, and he also brews on the pilot project, which is a great job, I reckon. Lots talk of me going down at some stage, but I don't think I think that's that that's ended and uh, and long time forgot about. But um, but yeah, the the brewing. Um, Brew small batch because it's only a small kit. They'll brew small batches, uh, and what they do, they have it on at the pilot project at the Barley Twist, which is great for the Barley Twist because it's like a unique beer. Uh, it's certainly it's a great craft and cask place. Great, great if you're near the train station, you know, dead handy because you can see the time. Maybe trains coming in, and and the, the craft beer fridges, wah, big fridges, great for the old train beer. Um, not, that, not that I'm good at doing things like that. I'd fall asleep. Yeah, I've took train wines before, but even that was dodgy, um, very dodgy. But um, yeah, in any case, uh, an amazing little little pub, little micro pub, should we say, in the Nottingham uh, near the train station. It's a must visit place, especially if you if you've just come off the train and you fancy a beer, or you, before you go and get the train, you're in town earlier, you want somewhere decent. That's not full of lager drinkers, shall we say? And uh, and go in there. Um, definitely a must visit place in 2023. I do yearly beer, yearly pub reviews to see how the pubs are going, 
see if there's a downturn. I would I would never expect any of the Castle Rock pubs to go down here, to be fair. But you never know, do you? All pubs uh, change. Uh, but yeah, cracking place. And that's my uh, review. Cheers, all.